What's up guys, today on McGee's Garage, we finally have the long-awaited Roxor update. Here she is right now, she's got the roll-arounds on her. We got some custom step bars that my dad made, but that's not really what the video is going for. It's over here. What's up? So, this has kind of been his labor of love. So we're gonna do a little breakdown on this. These, so these are the uh, toe tabs here. You're gonna put shackles, soft shackles or whatever in there. We got those from Barnes 4x4. Barnes 4x4. You got this hitch mount. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. <laughs> and we already had the tubing and this C channel that we're using to mount to the Rocksaur because the Rocksaur bumper mounts are kind of funny. It doesn't have any bumper mounts. It has yeah. a cross member only. Yeah, cross member only, no bumper mounts. And uh, got the diamond plate there capped off the sides because it's lazy not to cap off your tubes. This thing is super thick and super sturdy. How thick is this? Uh, I think it's 3 16 wall. 3 16 wall? So yeah, if that if that uh, screws up on the rock sore, it's a, it's a bad time. We got bigger problems. You're gonna see what I mean about the bumper mounts. This isn't really a bumper, it's just a cross member. Stock, it's got these little caps here that kind of come around and it's, this is, I mean, it's just kind of lame, man. Like it's, it's not weak or anything. And you know, the tub sits on it, so you can't just get rid of it. It's not good. I don't, like it so it's gonna mount up here you can see where we had it mounted in the testing stages that bumper's about that bumper's about ready to be powder coated over there and we're just gonna do uh just satin black like what we got on these my dad he cut down these n fab bars these were for like a mega cab dodge or something they were too long they didn't fit on any of our trucks because we have a uh, crew cab short bed super duties and uh well we have a crew cab long bed super duty but it's a flatbed so you know these steps were like they had three of them so like they went all the way to the bed and it, you you could step into the bed anyway we didn't have any use for them so he uh made some two brackets to mount to the frame that's pretty much how you need to do it on the rock store because the frame's so narrow and it goes so far in cap these off with diamond plate it's at an angled cut these these step bars are actually pretty strong and they, they look like they stick out but not really you know it's not too crazy it's just enough to be uh decent so i'm gonna step up in here excuse my clapped out crocs but i mean it's no flex nothing crazy the two mount is really all you're ever gonna need on this thing but we had them powder coated unfortunately our powder coater did not do a good job and he overcharged us and uh, you can kind of see it looks like ostrich leather it's it's not any good but the fab works great but that's what we did so or well my dad did my dad made those but uh i'm not i'm not an amazing fabricator that's kind of his strength it's not mine if it wasn't for the billing issue with the powder coater we would have had almost nothing in these bars <laughs> And, uh, you know, the welders, we got it palletized right now. We had to go do something with it. But, uh, yeah, that's the update on the Rocksor bumpers. And this is the diamond plate to go on the bumper. It's going to basically cover the, the C-channel brackets, and it's going to go all the way to the tub so you can stand on it. And that's pretty much the Rocksor update. It's had a couple other modifications done, but I'll probably save those for another video. Uh, by the time you guys see this, it will be time for my buddy Tommy Smart's uh, grand opening. He's opening the Jeep Outpost in Leesburg, Florida. And on March 9th, I think it's starting 9 a.m., we're gonna, me and dad are both gonna be there. We're gonna be checking out some cool Jeeps. It's my buddy's shop opening up. So this will be there. It won't be on these wheels though. We got some, well, we got a couple setups for it now that I haven't <laughs> that I haven't posted. We've been we've been really busy, and I, I do apologize for the lack of videos. But uh, we got multiple setups for it. We're still trying to figure out what we're gonna bring. The mini Jeep's definitely going in the bed of this. Hope you guys enjoyed this short, quick video, and 
maybe gave you an idea to build a uh, bumper of and step bars of your own your own style or maybe just rebuild those i don't know that is the end of this video from mcgee's garage peace oh and uh follow me on instagram at rice patty daddy it should be right here somewhere don't forget to like and subscribe peace